Hello and welcome to On Pen Shop. Today we will see what is sales agent and how it works. In this video we will understand the role of sales agent, how the sales agent module works and we will also see the options of sales agent, what are the uh, customers, how to manage the sales agent's commission as an admin. We will also see the sales agent commission setup we can set up the commission based on two different ways and we'll also go into the sales agent admin panel and we'll see how it works so let's get started now to create the sales agent you have to go to the business partners go to sales agent and click on add now we'll create a new sales agent from here now you now you can see the name of the sales agent the email id and the username of the sales agent. The commission type, there are two different types of commission that we have, dynamic and the fixed one. In the fixed commission, you have the fixed commission irrespective of the order amount. Now, when you select the dynamic type of commission, you have different range of commission that can be given to your sales agent. So let us go first and create the sales agent from here. Go to add and click on new. <coughs> now, in the sales agent name, I'm typing it as Philips. The email ID I'm giving my own email ID so I can show you how the uh, <coughs> username and password will go to your sales agent. You have to enter the email ID of your sales agent in here. Now username I will again give it as Philips. The password 1234 and the order notification I select yes and the status I select yes and all these three notifications I'll be selecting yes. Now when I select the enable these order notification that means whenever any customer of the sales agent makes uh, places an order and notification will go on to this email ID about that order details. This notification is given to the user about the username and the password of to the sales agent on this email ID. Now the statement has to be on. Now let me select the dynamic type of commission. Now if <coughs> you and your sales agent decide on some particular terms that any order below 50 is not going to get any commission. Now if the order amount above 50, now you decide 5% commission any order about above 50 now any order above 200 you decide 7% and any order about 1000 you decide to give 10% to the um, to the sales agent to this sales agent okay now here any order less than 450 will not be given any commission to the sales agent any order between 51 to 200 or 199 the sales agent will receive 5% commission any order above 200 and less than 1000 he is entitled to get 10% 7% I beg your pardon and any order above 1000 any any amount you will be entitled to get 10% commission so this is what you have said with your sales agent Philips and let me click on save and back now the sales agent has been created the Philips is the sales agent now there will be an email coming to my email ID mentioning all the details of the sales agent and here it is you see we have set up a sales agent account this type of email will go with the username and the password okay so this is how you can set the sales agent you can create the sales agent now admin panel so he can log in using his admin panel and the password now let us go and log in as a sales agent so here from here on the super admin i am logging it out and you have to send the you have already sent this instructions to him so what he does he will select this and he will open this and he will enter the name 
x and 1, 2, 3, 4 is the password. Now he has logged in in his admin panel. So in his admin panel, this is agent's admin panel. Mr. Phillips, he will be having the order model in which he will have only one option. The customer, the business partner, this is agent and he can get the reports. Now these are the only four modules he will be able to see. Now, as I said, as soon as any customer places an order, he will be notified. Now let us first create the sales agent from the sales agent admin panel. That means the sales agent himself can create his own customer database. So for that he can go to website customers and click on add. He can also, if he is very good at, he can also import the complete database of his customer. But he can add one by one also. User type, he select the user type, it could be retailer, could be corporate details. Now this customer is created by the sales agent from his admin panel. Now let me log out from here, from the sales agent and let us log in back into the sales main super admin. Okay? If I log in into the main super admin, I have one notification over here. And if I go on to customer section, Martin Lansberg, new customer is created. If I go to customer and website customer, there I will find a new customer, Martin Lansberg, and the sales agent has created this. So this is how a sales agent, any of your sales agent can create his own database. And you can list it from here as Philips. If he selects all the customers of Philips, sales agent will be populated. Same way you can have it as Mark Anthony and list down all the employees of Mr. Mark Anthony, a sales agent. Now this is how you can create. Now let us log in as this customer now. Let us assume that this customer of a sales agent is logging in and placing an order. Now you, the customer can log in from the front store using his ID. You can log in from here. Let me remove this. This is the login ID and the three four is the password. And you can so this customer, new customer has logged in, Mr. Martin the Lensburg, and now he will place an order. Now let us go fast and place a single order for this customer. We are trying to see what we can do with the <coughs> sales agent customers, right? When the sales agent customer places an sales agent places the customer of order. Now let us go to custom design. This is just I'm just placing the number. I won't do anything over here, and I'm just going to agree, agree, save, and continue. Add to the cart. Okay, I will pay by check of COD. Now here the same applies, same rules applies. You can change the billing address, change the shipping address. If he has the coupon code, he can redeem the coupon code. Now the shipping method has to be selected, he is selecting whatever. The shipping method, if he has any queries concerned, the, all, all those uh, points of uh, normal customer, since same applies to shipping method. And click on order complete. Order completed. And the order amount is more than 50, so we have to go in there and check this is the order that we have received from the sales agent customer okay this is the agent customer this is the order that we have received 85 uh, dollar order we have received now if you go on to the sales agent side and see <coughs> go to business partner go to sales agent and check now here we have this Philips I will go and check on manage commission and the details will be displayed. So 4.25 uh, 
permission is entitled to this sales agent margin. You see, the order has been placed as 85. 5% 5 commission is entitled to be given, and this is the amount that you have to pay. Now, right now, it is unpaid. And let us go on to the sales agent admin panel and check what he has received. Now, I'll go from here back and we log in. <coughs> I can log in from here also. I log in as the sales agent, and you can see he has also received the same thing. One order has been placed, you can go and click on the order and then check what the order has been placed by his customer, Mr. This is the order, business card, and this is what he has placed. Now, this is the customer, Mr. Martin Lanzibold. This customer has placed the order. Now, from here, from the dashboard, the customer, the sales agent is notified. He is added. He is, can be able to see that unpaid amount is 4.5. Now, when you, as a super admin, you pay to your sales agent, right? Now, let us go and pay this amount. Now, I'll go from here, go to sales agent, business, partners, and sales agent. I'll go and when I pay, good as a super admin could be any way right could be check could be cash but i have to update it from here the payment has to be done offline and i have to update it from here so what i'll do i'll select the uh, order or the commission option from here id and click on action and make it pay and click on submit so from here i have to notify in the admin that i have as a super admin paid to the sales agent his commission that he was entitled for 5%. Okay, now it is paid. Now again I will go back to the sales agent and check whether his side is notified or uh, or not. So I will go and log in as sales agent. On his admin panel dashboard also he has been notified that amount so this is how the complete sales agent cycle works. Hope you have enjoyed this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Have a nice time. Take care. Bye-bye.